So how can you lower your LDLs when you go on keto? It's no secret that one of the problems with keto is that you lose all this weight, you're eating eggs and bacon and fatty meats, and you're flipping, losing weight. How cool is that for the first time in your life? And then you end up going to the doctor and you've lost, you know, 80 pounds. And then the doctor wants to put you on medication because he says your cholesterol's through the roof. And it's a, it's a PR problem for keto because the way it's being handled right now isn't the greatest. And what they're saying is, well, yeah, you're losing weight, you're changing insulin sensitivity, and uh, LDLs don't matter. Eh. But your doctor keeps pressing you to go on medication. So I'm gonna give you some ideas. And these aren't perfect ideas because we're, we're, we're trying to figure out a way to make keto work for you. Problem is, there's some problems with keto. So let's talk about it. Number one, most people that are doing keto are doing keto and they're doing it in such a way that they're using the diet primarily to lose weight. And number one would be to do some form of exercise. Now I have a half an hour between patients. So what I did is I came out here in the sunshine, get some sun, and I'm just going for a, a nice walk. And Sometimes that's all it takes. Go for walks, ride a bicycle, uh, go to the gym, do anything. Because exercise stimulates certain hormones in our body to utilize fat. And the best exercise would be some type of cardiovascular exercise where you're not exercising extremely hard, but what you're doing is you're doing it consistently. And when you do it that way, you will be burning fat as an energy source. If you lift weights and you're like really struggling, ugh, you know, one of those things or you're holding your breath or your heart rate goes really high and then you have to rest in between sets, what happens with that is you're, you're gonna be using glucose. And most people that do keto find that they don't have as much energy for that type of workout. But you could definitely uh, do a cardiovascular workout and because you will be burning fat, that's the key. The second idea that you can do is understanding that keto is a physiological state whereby essentially your body is starving from lack of carbohydrates and your body has to convert fats into energy. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go over this way getting some sunshine. I'm on the side of the road with uh, shade. So anyway, hey, that's pretty cool. Good view with the, uh, the sun shining in me, right? But let's talk about this. If you uh, are looking for a physiological state whereby you're gonna be starving of carbohydrates, your body needs energy, it wants to use glucose, but it's gonna start using ketones, uh, you need to not eat carbs. So people get this idea that they start eating bacon and sausage and fatty meats with a lot of saturated fats. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's not ideal. It can be done because all you have to do is just not eat the carbohydrates. And you're in keto or you're in ketosis. And an alternative way to think about it is Sure, don't eat a lot of carbohydrates, limit your carbohydrates, but instead of eating crappy meat, eat healthy meat. So what if instead of eating a fatty steak, you ate fatty fish? What if instead of bacon, you know, uh, well, everybody loves bacon, right? How dare you say anything about bacon? But ultimately eat fatty fish, instead of fatty meat. You can also eat olive, uh, eat olive oil, use olive oil. You can use um, avocado. Hey, you can use avocado. Uh, you could use chicken with the skin on it. You can use lots of other types of 
meat to get the protein and then get the fat from olive oil and avocado. And when you do this, your omega-3s are gonna go up. Now, when this happens, your LDL will go down. So you stay in the, in the, in the diagnosis of ketosis. You stay in that physiological state of ketosis, but you don't have to, uh, you know, raise your LDLs. I could tell you this, that there is some controversy over statins and there is some, there are some problems with statins and you don't wanna be on statins. However, uh, you're gonna be hard pressed going to a doctor, convincing your doctor that LDLs are good. And ultimately, I think that if you don't wanna have an argument with your doctor, you gotta stop going, stop going to the doctor because it's the doctor's responsibility to tell you what they know medically. Now, whether that's right or wrong, whether their information is right or wrong, isn't the issue. The issue is if you go to your doctor and your LDLs are up and you get mad at them for trying to prescribe drugs to lower the LDLs, well, you gotta lower your LDLs. And for some people, the keto diet works for them. But there's a problem, LDLs. So th these are suggestions. The last suggestion is that just because keto helped you lose weight doesn't necessarily mean that you have to stay on keto for the rest of your life to achieve that goal. One of the benefits of doing keto is that you could change your body's physiology and your insulin sensitivity back to normal. But once it's back to normal, then you can start introducing vegetables again and different things if you want to. And so it would be beneficial to start to transition more into a more balanced diet where you start to eat more, you know, like two thirds of your plate would be vegetables and one third would be some type of protein, a lean protein and with some olive oil, a little avocado. And that is something that can work for you for life once your body's in a good physiological state. So think of keto as not something that you may have to do forever. It could be something that you can do to lose weight. You lose 60, 80 pounds. And then once you have achieved your goal weight, you can start to experiment. I'm gonna go back to work. You're gonna start to experiment and see if you can introduce other foods and what effect that has. And if you're working out now and you're, you know, burning, burning up the engine, then you may be surprised how many carbohydrates your body can take and still maintain your normal weight. So I know that this is probably a controversial subject and I know that many people do uh, keto, particularly those that are on my uh, watching my channel and subscribe to my channel. And I understand that it's difficult to lose weight, but um, the fact that you're doing it is awesome. And the fact that you have lost weight is awesome. But then the question is, how do you keep this going forever? How do you make sure it's not a temporary situation? And how do you get your doctor off your back? About the LDLs you know you can argue with them as much as you want and say well I saw this youtuber and this youtuber I'm gonna tell you they do not want to hear it they don't want their medical uh, practice questioned by some guy with biceps on the internet that's a problem isn't it whether that guy is right or wrong so that would be my advice is start exercising. Start thinking of keto as something that you could do as a temporary measure for a year, two years to get your body into a different physiological state and start changing the idea behind what keto means. 
Keto is a physiological state where you're not eating carbs, but that doesn't give you permission to eat such crappy fat and high fat uh, foods that will raise your ADLs. Why not eat foods that'll lower your LDLs? Sounds simple to me. Let me know your thoughts.